All right, welcome everyone. This is going to be a quick video, hopefully, to show you what I actually have sold on my main banker for the last couple of weeks, I think. Maybe a bit longer, I'm not sure. I can't remember now how long it's been on here. But I finally have to get the gold out of here because I've ran out of gold to actually create more things. Originally, I had 906 sales, as there was only 2,000 gold in there. But I didn't realize I didn't have my microphone on. So I did grab some on, so I started again. Even though that, I still have 886 sales. Not all of them are really crash hot, as you can see this Wilder cloth bags sold for 10 gold or 11 gold. Obviously there's nothing in that really. Um, they've just bottomed out really badly. People are just dumping them because they're not selling. Not really, not on here anyway. The notable things here though is the frozen spell threads. There's about 50, 60,000 gold profit in that, if not more. I sold one of those um, pets, the whelpings from jewel crafting and a bit of pig, uh, pigment still. That's not really much in it at the moment, so they've gone down a lot in price. So some things are really only like 5, 10 gold profit at the most. But I suppose if you sell enough of them, you know, they still make a difference for you. All right, what else was here? Sold some PvP gear still. Every time I remember, I actually make it. And put it back on. And it does sell. Not the quickest here, but it does go through bits and pieces, stages of where it's worth putting it on. Not too bad with cancel scanning for it either, so that's nice. Dark Moon decks. Obviously, it's time for the dance ones all of a sudden. Sold one here. Sold two here. Sold three here. And there was one somewhere else, but I can't find it now. So there was four of them in like in the last four days. Also, an Illusion Primer Frost that sold for 1.5k. The Amets, not really nice. There you go, there's more frozen spell threads here for 197,000 gold. And then temporal spell threads also here for 62,000 gold. And there's a Dark Moon Deck Inferno one here, as you can see. So, let me grab all that, and we'll see what next ones bring us. Alright, so next part. Next hundred, 1.1 million gold. Notable things are, again, my spell threads. They've been chugging along very nicely. Apart from that, some expedition packs. One set here and another set here. Usual pigments. There's not much gold in the pigments at the moment. So you've got to be very wary when you do it. Some of these other bits and pieces only you're making 5 and 10 gold as you expect. But when you look at those temporal spell threads at the moment, they're like really nice price. 1.4k for each one for the temporal and the frozen's are 1.7. The other ones don't make as much gold. And overall profit's not too bad, so it's worth putting them on. And they do sell most of the time pretty quickly, actually, so it's nice. So that's it from those bits and pieces. There's nothing else really here that's very exciting. So let me grab that. Okay, next bit. So to stop it, there's some Dark Moon decks here that seven days ago sold. I haven't been really doing too much on this character. I just, whenever I feel like it, I just decide to do it. And it's an on and off thing kind of thing. So it's only last week that, that spell threads, I actually decided to make some and thought, wow, actually there's some gold to be made in that. 
The inks are selling here. They were slightly more better priced a week ago. So there was still gold in to be made in that. I saw here that the Darkman decks. Oh, there you go. Um, a week ago. Oh, well, yeah. A week ago, still doing it. And apart from that, nothing really too exciting here. Nothing to jump up and down about. So I will just grab all this and we'll have a look at the next one. Okie dokie, next one. Let's continue along the way. More expedition packs. You can see they were a lot more valued eight days ago. But like everything else, just keeps on going down. Apart from that, again, that's a toy. Profession stuff. The region bags. Not much gold in that. They're even worse at the moment. So I'm grateful I got that much at that time. More spell threads here. I must have been doing it for a bit longer than I thought. Time's a bit blurry after a while. More expedition packs. Even better pricing here, as you can tell. More spell threads. More spell threads and that's it. That's again the same things, rinse and repeat. So let me grab that. All right, next little bit. Let's have a look what there is here. This is when I was, oh, well, two weeks ago, basically doing a lot of pigments at that time. There was actually a lot of profit still then, so it was worthwhile doing it. I made some cosmic ink ones. They are such a pain to make. It takes you 50 years to make them. There's more here. So if you've got time, don't let your character sit there and keep on just making it. That's probably the only way to do it. Otherwise, it's like watching grass grow. The process. All right, the uh, Darkman decks here. Infernal one and a dense one. They keep on going cheaper, more expensive, less. Yeah, it's all over the place. All right, what else was there? Oh, there you go. A bit more spell threads there. Nearly two weeks ago. Oh, <laughs> a lot longer than I thought I was doing it for. Ventus runes. 31 of rank 2 ones. For 147 gold. And there you go. Four of the better ones. A bit more. More another Darkwing deck. They're actually pretty cheap to make at the moment. You can make one or two and then keep them. Because they're going to go up in price again. Probably. More spell threads. And that's it for that stuff. I will grab that and see what the next 100 bring us. Okie dokie. Next. A little bit. Pigments. Pigments. Infernals. They're actually not too bad. They go for 20,000 gold still. At least they're holding price. Making at least 10,000 plus gold profit, if not more. Probably 15,000 gold if you buy the stuff at the right time. So that's a nice little pickup. More pigments here. PvP gear. Like I said before, when I feel like it and I remember to put it on and make it. I make it and then it usually sells pretty good. So I probably should do a better job at that. Different Dark Moon deck here, Rhyme, 13,000. I got after auction house cut. More frozen spell threads. And some frost. This is when I was um, unraveling awakened frosts uh, from doing the frost bitten wilder cloth. At that time, there was actually profit. So I kept on just milling it in the background here while it was sitting around. That's all apart from that. That's just the other ones. The rest of the stuff's just the normal junk that we sell every day. So let me get that.
All right, next hundred. 488,000 gold, roughly. Bags. That sell now. Two weeks ago, they were selling for 10 gold. Uh, sorry, that are selling for 10 gold now. We're selling for 55 gold. Two weeks ago. Did sell a mount here, Vial of the Sands. More temporal spell threads. More PvP gear. But they were the lower rank, it wasn't the 346 stuff, it was a lot lower stuff. More frozen spell threads, spell threads here. Thank you, thank you. Next hundred expedition packs. You can see how wildly they go in price. It's just weird. The shovels again, they're the same thing. They either go for ninety-nine gold or five hundred gold or three hundred gold. Just depends. Some old world stuff. Don't get rid of it. I was sick of looking at it in the bag. Regen bags, rune draconium rods, which are used for the orders. That was actually pretty good price. Illusions here, when they were slightly better in pricing, it was nice to see. Another darkmoon deck here, more spell threads here. Looks like I've been doing it all the time. I don't even realize. <laughs> More pigments and spell threads. And another illusion here. 169 gold. No doubt I mucked that one up. All right, let me grab that. Thank you, thank you. Last bit. Thought I'd just stop it and it's 100 anyway. 284 thousand gold for this bit don't think there's much exciting here this was when i was just doing bits and pieces and i was not really concentrating on this too much not much exciting stuff i don't even know what to say apart from here you go there's a couple of pvp items selling an illusion here and some pigments like i said there's not much actually profit in the pigments at the moment at least the way I see it for myself. Okie dokie. And that's about it. There's nothing really exciting here at all. It's just garbage. So let me pull all that out of you. Okie dokie. 6.3 mil. Just under. For all that. That looks like three weeks worth. It's been a while concentrating too much leveling and fixing things up on all the other alts and my main and that's it for that one i will hopefully have some more better news when things will pick up and we can be all making a lot more gold it doesn't feel as busy right now i must say because even when you look at the price of the way i'm talking now 180,000 gold it was running at 130,000 gold so it's 50,000 gold more and it doesn't go down as much on the weekends as it used to. So you can virtually tell that it's not as busy. Well, that's all I tell if it's not as busy. And then I can tell because I don't see as many people right now either. Okie dokie. I will have a look to see if I can show the graph. See if actually slightly in front from last week. Or last three weeks ago anyway. But let me have a look. I was at 5.1 mil. I'm at 6.3 mil nearly, so just over a mil has increased in here. So for all that of hard work, that's what has got me here. But overall, again, still, it's actually a positive result. Not very big result. I wish it was like BFA days <laughs> or even Shadowlands. If you're doing Transmog or other bits and pieces, there's niche markets everywhere if you really spend enough time on it according to this i'm losing gold 
Can't be right. It's weird. But at least from looking at that to here, you can see that it's still going up. And I haven't actually put any other gold in here along the way. All right, guys. So that's it. Thank you. I know these are probably a bit boring. I'm just trying to hopefully just, yeah, take along and show you what I'm doing bits and pieces when I can. So hope everyone's still enjoying Shadowlands and uh, Shadowlands. There you go. Thinking about when the good times were happening. Dragonfly. See? I wish I was back in the old days. Anyway, that's it. Good luck, everybody. Hope you're still managing to find something exciting enough to make some profit out of. And cheerio. Thanks. Bye.